Hey there, in the last video I was talking about how we can replace uh, old CRT with OLED and actually have a very similar experience. And uh, This is a standard OLED on a laptop, it can do 90Hz, nothing to write home about with uh, modern displays. And uh, this is a standard CRT that is for early 2000s. So it's actually something that yeah you probably have at home, uh, most probably. Uh, the cool thing about OLED, uh, they are similar in the, the way that CRT displays, uh, where there is no image there, uh, nothing lights up. This is really nice for contrast. Uh, next thing is that uh, CRT can run at different resolutions. Uh, because uh, the only limitation is the mask, so this one specifically can run at up to 1,024, uh, 1,024, uh, uh, 186, I think, at 75 Hz or, or something like that. So this is really nice. I think it can do 1,280, if I'm not mistaken, uh, um, in uh, horizontal res resolution at 60 Hz. So it's actually pretty good. Uh, but uh, so it scales very well, looks really nice. Uh, but the good thing about OLED, they don't really have a problem with refresh rates. So your game will set on a CRT as an output mode, uh, the specific refresh rate. So we are limited to what the game outputs if there is no emulation. While uh, here you have a nice shader, and but you have to mess around a little bit more to get the image that you would like. Actually. Actually, uh, you, you don't need to do that, and you cannot do that on a CRT, except if you actually run it. Uh, also, have a emulation layer, but you won't have a proper resolutions. Then uh, it won't actually switch. I, I haven't found a good method to do that, so uh, this is why I was running an actual Howard. So keep that in mind. CRT have that clicker; it can cause eye fatigue. They actually, this one specifically has problem with color, so it will be a little bit yellowed, but I recorded the 8K footage so we can actually com uh, compare pixels for each of them. Uh, yeah, on a single screen and uh, take a deeper look. I think the shaders on RetroArch under Dustbox Pure look really nice these days. Uh, this is actually very nice. You can adjust a lot of stuff. I purposely disabled all kinds of uh, shape of the CRT on the shader, so it is completely flat, but it's up to your own preference. Let's jump into the footage. Okay, so how to get this installed in your RetroArch? Just go to the main menu and then jump to online update there and at the bottom you will see update slang shaders and just download this and then you can start your game. So once in your game you want to press uh, F1 to go to the quick menu, uh, go down and here select shaders 
enable video shaders and then in loader press it uh, you normally would have your shaders inside your shaders directory under retroarch and here i have my slang shaders that i just downloaded uh, and my uh, my favorites are the bezel ones uh, the mega bezels are really good uh, they are really amazing you want to research that a little bit more if you enjoy that type of thing but i personally use these ones and i go to press it's here 4.1 and for my case the closest to the monitor I found is the monitor base um, I this is loaded and now I need to adjust some settings so I go to shader preferences and, and down here I have an option specifically for this uh, let's see scan lines so I want to double the scan lines for uh, low resolutions and I also want to configure horizontal mask uh, to be zero uh, so it will be uh, the horizontal scan lines will, will be completely smooth back at the game this looks really good and uh, this is specifically uh, full HD so uh, not, not really perfect uh, jumping here uh, to the menu as you can see here yeah uh, that looks already all right but uh, let me show you how to configure that for DOS or text adventures uh, so let me exit out of this into DOS so under DOS that doesn't look too great um, uh, the scan lines are just not right uh, so going back to uh, the preferences here uh, what I do is go up and disable the high resolution uh, mode specifically for these text modes or other high resolution stuff so set this parameter to zero and exiting out of this it already looks much better keep in mind that this is only full hd uh, so uh, it looks much better at higher resolutions than that and so you, you are probably at least want to have a 2k monitor for that and specifically oled uh, i think it will be the best choice thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope that i was able to show off how oleds with nice shaders compared to old crts see you guys next time